We've hit 75% of our bare knuckle fighting championship bets in 2024. And we plan on winning again at bare knuckle fighting championship 58. Welcome. I am Andy from wagertalk.com and we are going to break down a BKFC. And uh, there's, a, there's a few bettable fights. There's a lot of fighters on this card. I know nothing about. There's a lot of inexperienced fighters but it doesn't mean there aren't some really really good betting opportunities so i'm going to break down a couple fights here and of course we'll give a pick for the main event uh tony Markolev versus kaloyan kolev so i'm going to start with the first fight and i am playing these on betonline.eu they are the, always the first ones to come out with bare knuckle plays i've been a client of theirs for years and years and i highly recommend them especially for bare knuckle um I mean, Dave Mason and the crew just do a great job. And no, they don't sponsor us or sponsor the website or anything, but I know a good product when I see it. So uh, I will always be a bet online fan and will recommend it highly. Payouts are great, always on time. Deposits are easy. So um, they don't have the rounds and distances out yet at the time of recording. So keep your eye out for these because this first one, Athanasios Zampelel. Zampelos versus Emel Anchev, and I am so sorry I'm butchering these names. This fight is not going the distance. I don't think it's getting out of the first round. So Zampelos is, he's one in two, amateur and professional, but I watched his last fight. He came out guns a-blazing, tried to get the take, or tried to get the knockout on the feet real quick. It didn't happen. They ended up on the ground, and he got ground and pounded out. There is obviously going to be no wrestling and no takedowns. I expect he's going to come out with a flurry, and I did not see very good cardio. And Anchev, uh, there are no fights listed for him on Tapology. We saw this last week with the Mogenberg fight where there was a guy who had some experience, wasn't that great in MMA. He's fighting a guy who's never fought before, and the fight lasted 30 seconds. I think we're going to see something similar here. I think these guys are going to come out swinging. I do not expect very good striking defense and a bare knuckle it only takes one or two shots and bang, the fight's over. So I think uh, the under in that one is a pretty easy play for me, under one and a half uh, on the fight versus uh, uh, Zampelos and Anchev. I'm going to move up to uh, Danila Graf and Nicole Schaefer. Nicole Schaefer is a pretty big favorite, and you see why. She's 3-0-1, oh, and, and I watched her. Uh, I watched some of her kickboxing. She has cardio for days. She has good striking defense. She has pretty, pretty good striking offense. I mean, as you can see in her boxing fights, granted, against not great competition, she knocked all three of her opponents out, and then one went to a draw. And when I'm looking at Graf, I wanted to wait until weigh-ins because I wanted to see what was really going on with her. And my suspicions were confirmed. I'm trying to be as diplomatic as possible. She has not fought in a long time. Her last fight on Tapology was in 2017. She did have a cancel fight. She's in her 40s. She did not look that great at weigh-in. She looks like she's going to be much slower. She looks like she's going to be the smaller opponent. And to be honest, did not look like her heart was in it. And I think this is going to be a Schaefer domination. I don't know if Schaefer gets her out and gets a, a knockout. But I do think Schaefer is a very, very good parlay piece. We've been uh, really, really, uh, we've been really hot on these women's fights in bare knuckle. And I think Nicole Schaefer, very safe parlay piece. I do not think Ralph is going to have much for her. The last fight I watched at Ralph, she started off strong, faded, and that is not something Nicole Schaefer does. Nicole Schaefer does not fade, so she's going to have cardio for a while. So if this fight gets out of the first round, it's Schaefer all day wearing her down. Felipe Maya, and uh, I think it's, Angel Petkoff. Petkoff is the underdog. I think he pulls the upset here. So Felipe Maya is a if if Red Bull was a fighter, that's who Maya is. He just comes out guns a blazing in this la in his last in his bare knuckle fight debut. He comes out swinging so hard and so fast. The problem is he leaves his face wide open to counter shots and he did get countered he did get countered and his opponent was much smaller and looked a little intimidated but was still able to get off some really good shots he rocked Maya a couple times now Maya was a much bigger stronger lengthier fighter I, I see a lot of holes in Maya's game if he doesn't land that big kill shot and Petkoff is not going to be giving giving up too much size and 
I thought Petkoff had a really good performance in his bare knuckle debut. Um, he showed pretty pretty good guard, which is going to help him against Maya. And he landed some nice counter shots. And he went to decision, showed pretty good cardio. I I, I think Petkoff is the right side here. I, I know Maya is the much more exciting fighter, even at weigh-ins. He's jumping and yelling and screaming. Like I said, he, he's a can of Red Bull if Red Bull was a fighter. But I think Petkoff is a live dog here. I think if you're looking for a good underdog spot, it's Petkoff over Maya. And in the first round, you're going to be nervous because Maya is going to be swinging hard and just running forward. But wait till he eats a couple counter shots if Petkoff can get him off. I think I like I think I like Petkoff to counter him up, do some damage, and uh, come out uh, on top on the on that one. Peter Baranek and Stanoy Tabakov. Again, I wanted to wait till weigh-ins. My suspicions were confirmed. Um, Tabakov is 42 years old. He looks like he's 42 years old. He has not fought in a long, long time. The last recorded fight for Topology was 2014. He does not look like he's in fight shape. He looks very slow. Um, and Peter Baranek looks like a monster. And I know that you're not like basing it off of muscles and how cut is he. But this is a guy who's going to be eight years the younger. And this is a guy that's been active. He won uh, bare knuckle uh, just uh, like four or five months ago. Um, gets the round one KO. I know he lost to Dominic Harold, but he had a boxing fight in 2022. So he's two and one in boxing. He's got bare knuckle experience. And just looking at them stand next to each other, I, I, like Baronic is taller. So you're you're asking Tabakov to come out of nowhere and somehow get through the reach, make up the eight years, the youth, the fight experience, the bare knuckle experience difference. I don't see it. I think this is Peter Bronick, and I think it's by KO. And to be honest, I don't think it's close. I think you're getting really, really good odds on Bronick. I know Bronick's not a stud in boxing, but he's better. And the last fight I watched, Tabakov, he's a little bit more of a wrestler, so just don't think it's going to translate. Uh, one fight I did want to bring up, Mehdi Bargi, Bargi and Nikolai Alexiev. That fight's not going to go very long. These are two big, strong, muscular guys. They're bulky. They're going to have no head movement. They're going to have no defense. One of them is going to sleep. I wouldn't worry about taking a side. One of them is going out. I would take the under one and a half. I don't see how this gets out of round one because these guys aren't going to have the cardio to go very long. Um, Alex, Alexiev is 10 and 15. And look, uh, this guy has lost four fights in a row. This guy's not won since 2013. And... Let's just say he doesn't look like this anymore. He's put on a few pounds and think they're coming out. They're going to come out swinging, and this is not going to go very far. So, uh, Bargy and Alexiev, that one is not going to go the distance. Um, I'm going to go over the main event here to give a pick on that one. We have to talk about Kolev here for a second because Kolev has one of the funniest wins you will ever see. It says. Win by shoe malfunction. And I thought, that can't be right. It is right. I went back and watched that fight. His opponent apparently wore the wrong shoes, was slipping and sliding to the point where it looked like he was on ice skates and they had to stop the fight. I'm not making this up. They tried to clean his shoes off with duct tape and a can of Coca-Cola. They were pouring Coca-Cola on his shoe. They tried to wrap his shoe in duct tape. It didn't work. So they called the fight. So Kolev is 1-0 in bare-knuckle fighting due to a shoe malfunction. I don't know if we can take that much away from him, but I do like Kolev. He has been much more active. Um, he's got some pretty decent wins. Look at his loss. You might remember this guy, Armin Petrosian, UFC guy, having a lot of success. Uh, that's what he lost to on Contender Series. So the guy's been in the ring against some pretty good uh, competition. Mark Kolev uh, looks in great shape. I... I I just worry a little bit, like, what was this kickboxing fight result unknown? Uh, that was earlier this year. Uh, before that, he had a cancel bout. And then we got to go back to 2019 before we're seeing exactly uh, what he did. So I give the experience and, um, you know, he's just been in, he's been in bare knuckle before. He's done the walk. He knows the routine. And I just put a lot of stock into that in bare knuckle. So I do like Kolev to come out on top. Could be a fun scrap. 
Not sure it goes the distance, so if there's like an under four and a half, I would absolutely take that one, but I like Kolev to win. So I'm not breaking down every fight, but uh, just take a look at Donchev and Zampelos not to go out of round uh, the one and a half. Nicole Schaefer's a really good parlay piece. I like her. I like Petkoff to pull off the upset at plus money. I like Peter Baranek to beat Tabakov, who's been off for a while. Uh, Bargy and... Alexiev, I like that to not go the distance, and then I like Kolev in the main event. So, apologize for butchering butchering those names, but if you're interested in getting all of our plays for the weekend, this includes Bellator, Bare Knuckle Fighting, and UFC. You can grab those plays at wagertalk.com or just use the promo code LANG7. It gets $30 off a seven-day pass. includes all plays in all sports or up 54 units in 2024. So very happy about that. And if you guys, please hit the like button, leave us a comment. Just tell us you enjoy the videos a little bit. It really helps the algorithm out, helps make sure we can keep doing these videos and provide some of this uh, betting content for everybody. So good luck on your place. Remember, Bellator starts early on Friday, bare knuckle after that, and UFC on Saturday should be an incredible weekend of fights. All your plays uh, at wagertalk.com. Just look for Andy Lang's profile page. Good luck. We'll see everyone later.